Hi, my name is Chris Douglas and welcome to the restorative yoga flow I'm providing for you today. For this restorative yoga flow, you'll need a nice little bolster, also two blocks. The blocks are not a necessity, but you'll also need a wall. You'll see why here in a couple minutes. This restorative flow is mainly aimed at anybody looking to release any emotional pain, any anxiety, any tension, any stress, or as well as emotional traumas as restorative yoga is a wonderful modality to help us release emotions, also take the time to sit with ourselves in our center and fill out any emotions that are coming to the surface. So we'll get started here. If you have any questions or comments, please put them below in the comment box below. Be sure to also subscribe as there will be future yoga videos as well as other videos on my channel, Chris Douglas Spiritual Guide. So let's get started. And for each pose, we'll also stay in each pose since it's restorative yoga for about five to 10 minutes. So. Um, just simply try to relax, stay nice and centered, and just simply listen to my voice as I'll guide you through the, this entire yoga flow. So we're gonna get started first in seated meditation. So I want you just to take a deep breath in through your nose, having your back up against the wall, sitting on a bolster, or simply sitting flat on the ground. Just taking a deep breath through your nose, holding it at the top. Then when you're ready, Give a nice sigh, a deep exhale. Take the moment here to find your breath, bring yourself back to center. It's a big part of yoga is simply starting to dissolve the outer world as we start to make our journey into the inner world. And as we make our journey into our inner world, start to hear our minds quiet. By connecting with our breath, we're staying in the moment. Once we get into the moment, we start to feel relaxed. We feel our bodies getting nice, light, and airy. We also feel the tension, anxiety start to decrease. Continue bringing awareness back to your breath for this entire yoga practice. Anytime your mind starts to wander, simply just return back to your breath. Taking a deep breath in through your nose once again. When you're ready, exhale. Every time we're bringing air in, we're simply bringing in more energy, we're tapping into the universe, we're breathing into any spots on our bodies that are calling for attention, whether it be our lower backs maybe, our shoulders, our necks, our hips. Simply using this practice today, becoming very intentional, sending air to anywhere in your body calling for the attention, good. Once you find your center, once you feel nice, relaxed, and you start to feel your body coming light and airy, and you feel yourself stepping into your emotional or your energetic body, feeling less heavy, very light, I want you to start scanning your chakras. We're gonna start at our base, at our root chakra. This is down at our root chakra, simply our connection to the earth, connection to the Gaia, it's our safety, it's our security. So connect to everything in the physical realm. Right above that, we're gonna move up to the sacral chakra. It's right below our belly button or our navel center. It's our chakra of relationships, intimacy, creation. Filling into our hip region for anything coming to mind, anything pulling our mind's attention. So we move up next to our solar plexus chakra. This is right above our belly button. This is a masculine chakra full of drive, willpower, determination, action. Filling into the space above our belly buttons. Allowing anything to grab our mind's attention in regards to our bodies, maybe asking for attention or letting us know that a center might be out of balance. Next, we're gonna move up to the heart chakra. This is right between the breastbones. It's our chakra of love, compassion, empathy, as well as trust for ourselves. Feeling all around our heart chakra area here for any pain, any tightness. Our next breath, we're gonna move up to our throat chakra. It's our chakra of our voice, also our soul's purpose. 
Maybe you have a tight throat. Maybe your lymph nodes are a little swollen. Swollen on the left side, it could be your feminine side. Swollen on the right side, maybe, it could be your masculine side. So the left side of our bodies resonate with the feminine nature and our right sides manifest. Our right sides connect with our masculine nature. Moving up next to our third eye, right between our eyebrows. It's our connection to our intuition, our mind's eye, our thoughts. Feeling for any tension, headaches, maybe some migraines, anxious or obsessive thoughts. Last, we're gonna scan our crown chakra at the top of our head or a little bit above our head. It's our connection to the universe and everybody around us. Simply feeling for any imbalances there. Maybe it feels closed off. You feel disconnected from everybody as you're watching this video. Simply, oh, if it's too wide open, too many people you feel connected to, maybe you need to close it. Now we've scanned all these chakras. I want you to connect to any chakra through our full scan that called your attention the most. Or if you want to rescan, simply take a second here just to take a breath in your body. Exhale, see which chakra is calling for your mind first. Then I want you to put your mind's eye or your brain's attention into this chakra as we continue to breathe and seated meditation. Putting all of our attention in our chakra that we chose. Just start to feed it attention with every breath in. Simply pulling energy in to clear out any blockages. And as we exhale, releasing those blockages. Focusing simply on this chakra. Just again, putting our mind's eye in this chakra. And if you pulled your third eye chakra, simply focusing all your attention into your third eye. If any thoughts or emotions surface, simply just view them. Do not attach to them. Be aware of them. With awareness, we allow our subconscious minds to find solutions for us. All we have to do is simply trust and allow the universe to do its work along with our bodies. Now that you're deeply connected with the chakra you chose, I want you to expand your perception to the energy around the chakra. So if I chose my solar plexus chakra, I want you to think of the energy resonating around the chakra going out horizontally outside of your body. Feeling this energy and now with every breath in, I want you to feel this energy field expanding and growing. With every exhale, we're continuing to clear out anything that no longer resonates with that chakra or us. Still connecting with our breath, still connecting with ourselves, still connecting with our chakras. Now we're connecting with that energy around the chakras. I'm gonna take our final few breaths here, seated meditation. Taking in our deepest breaths yet as we continue to grow the chakra and the energy around the chakra. Continuing to exhale. As we let go of anything else that no longer resonates. And when you're ready, just slowly come out of seated meditation. And as we change positions in this yoga flow, I want you to continue to move slow, methodically to maintain this Zen state so we might be in theta brainwaves, which were most open and intuitive. You're ready. I want you to simply move your bolster out to the side. So we'll use it here in a little bit. Next, once you're up against a wall, simply want you to move your feet out to the side of the wall. So your feet are directly parallel with the wall and your bottom's right in the middle of your yoga mat. And then when you're ready, I want you to bring your feet up the wall. Keep them as close as you can this will allow you to get as tight up against the wall as possible. Bringing our feet all the way up as we come into waterfall. It's a wonderful pose for anybody with an overactive mind or a very active lifestyle. Also, if you sit at a desk all day, 
So it's very grounding. And if you have sandbags that are partner, you can also put sandbags on your feet just to help ground you a little bit more. If you're a vata, if you know your dosha, this is a great pose if you're a vata. Once again, it helps ground you. It's now your feet are up in the air and your head is on the ground. So vatas always are looking up and moving very quickly. Now we're, our heads are on the ground and we're allowing ourselves to open. If you wish, if you connect with any of your lower chakras, you can put your hand to that chakra. So we reconnect with our breath, bringing our awareness back to our breath, then to our chakra. Once you find your chakra, switch your perception to the energy around this chakra. And you can put your hands on your chakra, or if you want to fully open up, you can allow your hands to fall to the side. Honoring any thoughts that come to mind. Once again, not attaching to them. Simply being an observer of our own thoughts. Allowing yourselves to relax. Simply just be, staying present in the moment. Not worrying about the past. So not worrying about anything that you have to do in the future as in this moment, we're bringing all the attention and energy back to ourselves, deepening our connection with ourselves. So we use our breath, bring us back to us, back to the present moment. Fully allowing ourselves to relax. About this time in the practice, your mind should be getting very quiet their fight and flight nervous system is now resting. Bring in our resting and digesting parasympathetic nervous system. This allows us to rest, recover, also heal. Continue to bring awareness back to our breath. So we're using our breath as a tool. Connect with source, bringing in more energy as it's abundant and all around us, into our bodies, recharging our bodies while we relax our bodies. Simply just allowing ourselves to be. back to our breath if our mind starts to slip. Once we connect back with our breath, reconnecting with our chakra. Once we reconnect with our chakra, shifting our perspective to the area around that chakra and continuing to grow it. Trying to find a perfect balance between effort and ease. Allowing our bodies to fall asleep, or we allow our minds to still stay slightly awake. Right now, start feeling sensations as the blood's diverting itself. I feel sensations in your feet, your thighs, your shins, maybe even your hips. Now we're also starting to release our glutes and our lower back muscles. Still connecting with our breath, still connecting with our chakra, still connecting with the area around that chakra. Take our final deep breath here and waterfall. Taking our deepest breath in yet, and as we exhale, 
Take all that air out. We're gonna sh simply shift our legs out wide. Being conscious, not allowing our ankles or the back of our feet to stick to the wall, but allowing them to be free. Because the more we relax here, as we open up a little bit, feel your feet start to slide down the wall ever so slightly, maybe with every exhale. Still bring awareness back to our breath. Every exhale, we continue to soften, continue to let go. We continue to step back into our energetic or emotional bodies, dissolving reality and leaving our mass like bodies, we become linary. Also, become one with the energy around us. Allowing all the energy to flow freely through us. Knowing that we live in this abundant universe, we always have access to this energy. We just simply have to take the time to stop, let go and relax. Returning back to our breath. Returning our awareness back to our chakra. from the chakra to the areas around that chakra. Allowing our minds to go, allowing our bodies to rest. Knowing that the more we relax and let go, the more we can feel the sensations, the energy moving through us. Our feet to adjust. So trying to find that balance between effort and ease, or finding a little bit of comfort, pushing just a little bit past it, trying to find comfort and a little discomfort. We do that by simply returning back to our breath and we find a little bit of discomfort. Turning back to our breath and our awareness to our breath, it pulls our mind's attention as our brains can only focus one sensory point at a time. By bringing our attention and feeling the sensation of our breath coming in through our nose via our nostrils. Pull the attention off of any discomfort in our bodies. As we exhale, continue to release any of that tension or any of that tightness. Connecting with our breath again. You can send that breath maybe to your hips if they're tight here. As we exhale, allowing it to go. Finding new freedom. Also finding that comfort in that discomfort. Feeling one with the ground below us, and also all the energy around us. So the more we open up in yoga, the more we allow the energy to flow abundantly through us. Let's take our last final few deep breaths here. Taking our deepest breaths yet. Bringing in as much energy as we can. Also letting go just a little bit more. You're ready. We're gonna bring our legs back up to center. Or you can walk your feet flat against the wall as you walk down the wall. Whichever feels best for you. Making sure to just transition slowly, listening to yourself, not rushing it. This is restorative yoga. Moving very slow. 
Once your feet are down the wall, if you can, try to bring your knees into your chest. If you can still be up against the wall or you can release them, grabbing your shins with your hands. Maybe rocking back, left and right, just massaging our lower backs. Still bringing awareness to our breath. Still connecting with our chakra, and the energy around that chakra. When you're ready, we're gonna slowly turn to our right side or left side, whichever you're on. So come down, we're still gonna move slowly and methodically. Not rushing. If you wish, you can also keep your eyes shut down for this. This I'll guide you through with my voice. Next, as we come up, I want you to come to all fours and grab your bolster. We're gonna put our bolster right in the center of our mat. If you want, actually scoop back just a little bit in your mat. Once we're on all fours over the top of our bolster, just gonna do one cat cow to really help release our lower backs and transition us to our next pose. So our palms planted, fingers out wide, knees hip distance apart. As you inhale, dropping your stomach, bring your chin or your gaze skyward, really stretching that lower back, shoulders. And as you exhale, arching and rounding your back like a cat. If you wish, also twisting or externally rotating your elbows just to get a little bit more of that tension out of your shoulders. As you exhale, returning back to tabletop. And we're gonna move ever so slowly. So you bring our right hip to touch the base of our bolster. We're gonna keep our knees out to the right side of our mat. With our palms planted on each side of our bolster, we're simply just gonna lower ourselves very slowly onto our bolsters so that it's supporting our chest and our stomach. For a full expression of this pose, you'll wanna put your left ear down so that you're getting a full twist from your neck all the way down to your hips or the base of your sacrum. And if there's too much tension in your neck for you there, Simply put down your right ear. This will take a little bit of the torque and the tension off. It'll also allow you just to simply find your comfort. Once you find your comfort, you wish finding a little bit of discomfort, pushing yourself a little bit. Once you get comfortable, sending any air as you breathe in to anywhere on your body that's simply calling for your attention. Maybe it's your right hip. Could be your chest, your mid back, your upper back, or maybe even your neck. Breathing into these centers first. Finding the comfort in the discomfort. Allowing our minds to relax. Once you breathe through any of these tight areas, returning back to your breath again, reconnecting with your chakra you chose, and then reconnecting with the area around the chakra. Allowing ourselves to let go. So in yoga, we first connect with our masculine side if we're going left or right. And here we're connecting with our right side or our masculine side, which might be a little bit more stiff as it tends to do a little bit more work as it is our connection to our drive, determination, and our willpower. Or one could simply just say action. So you're a very active person. Your masculine might be maybe feeling a little overused. So it might be a little bit more difficult to soften up first. Simply just returning to our breath and breathing into this side. 
maybe we've all been double downing our masculine, doing too much, trying to make stuff work. So we're connecting with our chakra and our masculine on this side. Allowing it to take the time to relax and also rest. So we're in a state of healing now. Allowing our bodies to do all the work. Providing it the fuel by simply breathing and allowing our minds to relax. So our bodies continue to soften. Becoming more light and airy with every breath. Every breath in, continue to clear any energetic blockages with every exhale, releasing any of that stuck energy. If any emotional thoughts, maybe traumas are coming to the surface right now, simply just allowing ourselves to be aware of these thoughts or observers. Not attaching to them, but bringing out our childlike curiosity. So maybe a lesson that they might have taught us. Maybe filling into fully what that lesson did teach us. Honoring that. There be exhale, starting to let it go. Even allowing it to move through our crown chakra back to the universe. We're releasing it through our root back to the earth below us. Take our final few deep breaths here. And then when you're ready, Slowly push up through our palms and our elbows, rising up very slowly. We're not in a rush. We're simply just relaxing and being. And pushing through your hip, bringing your weight to your knees, and move back to straddling over the top of our yoga bolster. Fingers spread out wide once again, knees hip distance apart. So we inhale, dropping our stomach, trying to bring our chins, our foreheads to the ceiling above us. So exhale, arching and rounding our spines, coming into cat. Externally rotating our shoulders, our elbows, releasing all that tension. Turning back to all fours. Ever so slowly this time, we're going to bring our knees out to our right here, touching excuse me, our left hip to the base of our bolsters, bringing our hands out to each side of our bolster once again. So we exhale, slowly lowering ourselves so that the bolster supports us once again. Full expression would be our right arm plant, our right ear planted on our yoga bolster. Once again, if there's too much tension or torque from you, or if you chose your right ear on the last one, you can bring into your left ear to the bolster. Since I did left ear, I'm going to go right ear on this one. So now on this prone spinal twist, bolster supported. I'm going to start connecting in with our feminine side. It's a feminine. It's all about rest, open to receiving. It balances our masculine very well. In which when we do rest, we open ourselves up to receive, in which we start manifesting all the fruition from all of our actions. In this moment, simply open ourselves up to absorb any energy coming in from the universe, connecting with our breath, letting go of any emotions or traumas that might be trapped here on our left side. So also when we move into our feminine, after we follow the masculine, it allows us to relax into a deeper, a softer state. Allowing us to let go more, which also brings in more healing. 
The more we let go, the more we allow the energy to flow. Reconnecting with our breath, still bringing in deep inhales. With every inhale, continue to expand and grow. We exhale, continue to let go. Allowing us to bring in newness. Turning back to our breath. Connect it again with your breath. Returning to the chakra that you chose. Then to the area around that chakra. Once you find that space, simply allowing your mind to go. Mm -hmm. Shasam, I feel your body getting really warm now. Knowing that this heat is being utilized to bring up any toxins to the surface as we allow our breath to cleanse ourselves. Knowing that the more relaxed and let go, the more we allow ourselves to recover and heal. And also in this case, tapping into the feminine side, the more we allow ourselves to also receive. Knowing that we're all worthy to receive, opening ourselves up to receive, and also expressing gratitude for all that we do receive. Bodies to fully fall asleep here. On our minds to rest as well as we still focus on our breath, our chakra, and the area around our chakras. Allowing any emotions or traumas to come up to the surface on our feminine side. It's again just simply being an observer. Leaning into anything that comes up with a childlike curiosity. Acknowledging maybe all that is a lesson taught us. Allowing it to flow out our crown chakra out through our root chakra. Taking the last few deep breaths here on the left side. Then on your next inhale, pushing up slowly through your palms and your elbows. Moving slowly and methodically, maintain the Zen state. Not that if you lose it for a second, we can come back into it rather quickly. Just simply reconnecting with our breath, ourselves. Moving once again for the last time as we straddle our bolster, bringing our knees hip distance apart, wrist under elbows, under shoulders. As we inhale, coming into cow one more time, dropping our stomachs. We're gonna gaze skyward as we exhale, externally rotating our elbows, arching and rounding our spines, releasing all that tension, coming back to all fours. Now we're gonna move into the final pose with our bolsters. I'm gonna need two blocks for this. And if you don't have two blocks for this, you can simply just put your bolster on the ground behind you. But with our blocks, we're gonna build a nice little incline for our bolsters. So we do this by putting a block upright and putting one alongside of it, like so. We're gonna build this behind us, leaving a little bit of space behind us. I'm gonna grab our bolster. 
so that the base of the bolster is still touching your yoga mat and the incline goes up with the blocks. Then we're gonna bring the base of our hips up to the base of the bolster. And there's a few variations we can go here with our feet. And simply first, just relax, allowing the blocks to support right down the middle part of your spine. When you get comfortable, allowing your head to rest back on your bolster, then allowing your arms to fall off to the side, palms facing upward. With your feet, you can stay in a nice easy seat meditation with your legs crossed. You can allow your legs to go out straight, depending on how your lower back feels. Or for full expression here, you can bring the base of your feet together, fully opening up your hips, because this is a full chakra opener. If we allow our root, our sacral chakra, our solar plexus, our heart, our throat chakra, our third eye, and our crown to be fully open here. Once you get in a comfortable spot, fully allowing yourself to let go. Reconnecting with your breath. Reconnecting with your chakra and reconnecting with the area around the chakra. It's in a full chakra opener like this incline Bodhisattva Fully allows the energy to move through us, whether it be coming in through your crown, all the way down, exiting your root, whether you're bringing it in through your root chakra and allowing it to exit your crown. This allows all your chakras to get recharged, revitalized, with every breath we bring in, we're clearing all these chakras and recharging them. With every exhale, removing any stagnant or stuck energy that no longer resonates with us. Creating newness and allowing newness to flow in. This restorative yoga is very feminine based, allowing us to rest allowing us to be open, allowing us to receive all this energy and all this newness in our lives. Knowing that we're worthy of this time to take relaxing, recharging. Connecting with our breath, staying present in the moment. Feeling ourselves become the most light and airy we've become yet. Feeling the warmth of our bodies, knowing that we don't have to work hard to generate heat. We just simply have to connect with our breath. Fully open here, feeling that connection to everything and everyone around us. Knowing that the more work we do on ourselves and heal ourselves and releasing these traumas or maybe trapped emotions, More others around us feel this, which helps encourage them to do their own healing or maybe start finding their own healing path. This also creates the ripple effect, which as we share this practice or this energy with the people we come in contact to afterwards, start to share it with the people around them, turning the ripple to a nice big wave. Allowing all of us to heal, let go of what no longer resonates with us. Stepping back into our truest form of our truest selves as we work towards our soul's mission of becoming our higher selves. Feeling the energy flow so abundantly through us. Knowing too, the more we relax and let go, if you're in the full expression of this pose, you'll feel your knees start to fall ever so slowly with every exhale, down to the side towards your yoga mat. 
shoulders start to open a little bit more as we fully open up our hearts. Bring in love and compassion as well as empathy into everything we do. Taking our final deep breaths here, taking our deepest breath yet. So exhale, letting go. Taking in one more deep breath. If you wish, you can stay in this Baddha Sukhanasana if it resonates with you. Trusting yourselves to stay there if this is calling you. If you wish, you want to move into our final pose of Shavasana. Moving up ever so slowly, maybe even planting your palms, or simply just using your hips to bring you up. Moving slowly once again, stay in the Zen out meditative state. Moving our bolster and our blocks to the side. And when you're ready, making your way down to Shavasana, planting your hands, lowering yourself by your elbows or your palms, opening up your palms facing upwards, coming to our final rest of Shavasana. Letting go of any breathing restrictions. Simply just allowing yourself to be. So all thoughts have been removed from our mind. So we feel light and airy, free from our own bodies. Fully letting go. Continue to allow the energy to flow so freely through us. Any thoughts come to mind? Once again, simply just being an observer of these thoughts. Leaning into them with a little curiosity, or just simply feeling them out. Honoring our emotions and our experiences. Saying thank you for all that you've taught me. Simply letting it go turning it back to its home. Maybe that lesson or that experience simply brought you closer to your home. Grateful, maybe, in this moment for allowing yourself this time to rest and relax. We've brought all the energy back to ourselves.
And then when you're ready, slowly coming back, start by wiggling your fingertips or your toes. Feeling the sensations of your body. Maybe doing small circles with your wrist or your ankles, bringing in a few more sensations ever so slowly and softly. You're ready, we're gonna bring our arms fully over our head for a full body stretch. Going back to our tippy toes. If you have to, if you have a wall behind you, bring your arms out wide. As you exhale, make your way onto your right or left side into the fetal position, bending our knees, bringing our arm out to the side, using it as a pillow. So we have allowed ourselves to fully die and let go everything that might have been bothering us. Keeping our eyes shut down and pushing up slowly through our palms. Let's make our way back up to seated. So we're in seated, crossing our legs as we come back into a seated meditation. And a few breaths here, sort of reground and recenter, realign. Bring our hands to heart center, bow on our third eye and looking within to receive metta. Thank you everybody for practicing yoga and this restorative yoga with me today, which we held poses for five or more minutes, simply connecting with our breath, connecting with ourselves, connecting with our body. With every breath we brought in, cleared out any energy in the chakra that we chose. With every exhale, we release tension, anxiety, and any stuck energy back to the universe. Honoring ourselves and paying gratitude for ourselves. We're simply taking this time to connect with ourselves and healing and releasing any trapped emotions or traumas which might have been troubling us. Knowing that the more we heal ourselves, we also start to help heal the collective and everybody around us. Honoring this, simply knowing, trusting. May we all find peace. May we all find love. May we all find happiness. Namaste.